Today on my channel, we are going to be creating a double wall aquarium and under the sea tablescape that is going to be fit for an island princess. Stay tuned. For this project, you are going to need one 8 inch round bowl. You will also need one 12 inch round bowl, and I got both of those from Hobby Lobby. You will need one pack of these white gravel, as well as two of these white wired baskets. You will need a few of these LED beach scene glass candles. You will need some water gel beads. This is what they look like before you soak them in water. You will need some food coloring. We will be working with the blue one today. You will also need an assortment of shells. I got mine from Michael's and Hobby Lobby, but the Dollar Tree sells shells also. And you will also need you a decorative fishnet. Of course, you will need your handy dandy tools. Let's get crafting. So the first thing that we're going to do is prepare our basket. And to do that, we are going to have to take the candle off by unlatching that hook on either side. And then we're going to have to take our wire cutters and just fold down that handle, the part where the basket handles were attached. And then once you have done this, we're going to turn that basket over and folding those handles over is going to allow that basket to sit flush. Now what we're going to do with our huge assortment of shells is we're going to go in with our hot glue gun and we are simply going to place hot glue on these shells and affix them to the outer round or the outer edge of our basket. Now because that basket is slotted and it is not a solid um, background, of course that glue is gonna kinda seep through those holes and because of this, we're not gonna be able to set it and forget it with this hot glue but we're gonna have to hold those shells a little bit to make sure that they are adhered to that basket and if you noticed I took my hand off of that one a little bit too early and so it is falling down <laughs> because and that glue did not have an opportunity to set yet and of course we are affixing it to metal metal conducts heat and so it's going to take a little longer to get this process done and so as you can see here I'm holding two um, with my fingers on my left hand my right hand actually and then I am using my other hand to put some glue down and hold another shell in place and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to continue this process we have two baskets that we need to get shells on and I will continue this process to get these baskets ready and when I am finished I'm going to come back to show you what they look like <music> So after we have decorated our baskets with our shells going around this side and I've placed a, no a nice pattern of shells on top, what I'm going to do to complete this seascape um, theme that we have going on is I'm going to take a string of pearls and yes I did not um, include this in the supplies but now thinking about it I've decided I'm gonna take my string of pearls and I am going to place it around the top outer edge of that basket as well as the bottom outer edge of that basket so that we are completing our under the sea 
look and all I'm doing here is going in with my hot glue maybe the length of six or seven pearls at a time placing it down making sure that those pearls have set in that glue and I'm just going to continue this process until I get all the way around to the other side of course where I started I'm going to continue this process on the top I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom I'm going to do it to the other basket that we have also to prepare and then I'll come back to show you what they look like now that we have prepared our baskets and they are ready you can see it sitting in the bottom left hand corner of the screen what we're going to do now is prepare our fishnet and to do this we are going to use the backwards technique where we are actually placing what we need to have glued underneath the fishnet and then we're gluing on top of that fishnet and as you can see what that is helping me to do is make sure that those knots on that net is being engaged with those shells and of course we will have to wait for a while for that hot glue to set with the shell and with the material but when we're finished we will be able to have a net that looks like like there are shells caught up in it and it's gonna give our project a nice effect I am going to do this with two pieces of netting um, and then when I come back I will show you what they look like all right now before we begin this section I just would like to apologize in advance for my tummy that is sticking out peeking out every now and again of course I fix myself um, before I started to film this segment but because I lifted my leg and placed my knee on my chair to get the leverage that I needed to pour that water from bowl one into bowl two my skirt kind of moved sideways and so this is the effect we have right now so guys I apologize in advance for this of course this was not my intention but now back to the project we are working on my favorite part of this project in which we are now going to create a double wall aquarium that we are going to use to actually host live animals live fish and so in an effort to do this what I'm doing is I'm using my water that we dyed blue using our food coloring and some gel water beads to take up some of that space now of course because we're dealing with water and water conservation I placed that second bowl in there to make sure that Everything is accounted for as I'm building this I'm adding water. I'm adding beads I added the bowl I'm going to add the gravel shortly and I'm going to build to ensure that the water on the outer wall of that inner aquarium is not going to over take the inner bowl because what we don't want to do of course we don't want any of that blue food coloring or any of those gel beads getting in with our fish and so as you can see I just put in my beads and I'm spreading them out excuse me my gravel and I'm spreading them out to ensure that that bowl now is going to be flush and sitting in the bottom of that bowl because it is weighted down by that gravel and once I have set that up the way I need it to be I'm going to continue with my water as you can see and with my water beads pouring them in in the outer part of the bowl now what I'm doing here now is I'm waiting for my daughter actually to bring some of the fish water that the fish are currently living in because of course we want our fish to be acclimated to the water that we are going to be placing them in of course catching them and moving them from one place is stressful enough and we want to make sure that even though they're stressed out they are going to be 
healthy. And so as I'm waiting for my daughter to bring that water for me, I'm just going to continue to put water and beads until she gets here. And when she does, I'm going to use that water to place it in the second bowl with my gravel. Here she is. And then I'm going to start to build that aquarium. Now, when I did that, I realized that the gravel was throwing off some white water. So we're going to come right back, rectify that and see what we can do. All right. So here you have it. You can see we have moved our fish into our double walled aquarium. And as you can see, my daughter and I opted not to go with the white gravel. Apparently it looked like that gravel was not treated, of course, for aquarium fish. We got it from the Dollar Tree, but we learned that despite how many times that we rinsed that gravel, that white paint was still coming off. And so my daughter and I opted to and luckily I had these at the house to use blue marbles that we had as well as some blue and green flat stones from the Dollar Tree and if you ask me these actually looked and turned out better than I believe the white gravel would have and so now you see what i'm doing to make sure that we're having one cohesive look is i am continuing the process with the pearl beads going around the top of that bowl and if you notice i have opted to use my lazy susan to help me turn this bowl around as i work this question of course is for my students or any teachers that are out there I did not want to have to keep picking up that bowl and turning it and swishing it because of the water that is in there. But let me know if you know in the comment section below, let me know about how many pounds you think a gallon of water weighs and understand that I'm dealing with about a gallon and a half here, maybe two gallons by the time we're done. So if you understand that, you know why I didn't want to be lifting this bowl and moving it too much around and so now that i'm getting back to the other side where i started from with my glue and my pearl string i'm just gonna close in that gap and cut off the excess or the part that we no longer need and then once i have done that what i'm gonna do is take our led beach scape candle holders that we got from the Dollar Tree as well and I'm gonna place some pearls around the bottom of this to make a cohesive unit again and then I'm gonna clean up my glue fronds set the table and I'll come back to show you what our finished project looks like and here you have it my darlings our double wall under the sea wedding centerpiece and tablescape isn't it lovely what we were able to create today using items of course from the Dollar Tree and a few from Hobby Lobby and Michaels I think is phenomenal here you see the glass beads and the flat stones that we were able to substitute for that white gravel and here you also see our fish net with some of our driftwood and shells that have been glued onto it here in this shot you see our baskets that we also embellished with our shells and some pearl string and of course you see here some pieces that I got from Michaels for 70% off in clearance. Here are our seascape candles that I got from the Dollar Tree and of course our net hanging again also on the other side. My darlings, I think we have nailed this project. Being from the islands myself, I think if I were ever to get married again, this is one of my own creations that I would seriously consider having at my wedding. Listen, if you have enjoyed this project, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up 
please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Share this video so that many other people will be able to see it. To my Danny's darlings, I want to thank you guys so much for all of the comments, the love, the suggestions. I really enjoy reading what you guys have to say. To those of you who are not yet subscribed to my channel and who just happened to stumble upon us today, please consider joining our ever-growing community of DIYers as we craft together and learn one from the other. To all of you, I will leave you guys with this. Why buy when you can DIY? All you need is an innovation, a vision, some resources, and really and truly, the sky is the limit. My darlings, until next time, I say to you, be well, take care, know that I love you all. Bye now.